morning everyone uh, in fact today's lecture uh, you sh all of you should take it very seriously uh, i i just want to uh, support this particular statement why thermodynamic work de definition is so broad it has a lot of uh, depth in the definition which you commonly misunderstood and that is the reason i am going to give the greatest advantage because of this particular development and mechanical work said key force into displacement is a work yeah dot product of scalar product of force and displacement is a work that was not enough at all when the people were depending on only on that one the kind of power stations which they produced were you imagine why historically the steam engine started the means of power generation because if you take a piston and cylinder and on the piston there is a gas pressure acting with some pressure p gas okay below obviously you can say that there should be atmosphere acting because i am not closing this one perfectly okay so the moment the p gas is a uh, greater than p atmosphere then the piston will start moving the there will be a displacement of the piston in this direction okay so most of the initial power generating systems are based on the concept of the definition which is mechanical work what is the mechanical work the dot product of force into uh, displacement suppose if the force is a function of displacement you should have a differential form that is delta w is equal to the force which could be a function of displacement multiplied by small displacement okay so this was only the definition of the work available in the history then the people thought that this is only one way you can develop the motive power and replace all the horses car uh, cows or a buffaloes or anything which is used by the uh, conventional animal power industry and you need to have a force into displacement now if you see this particular one uh, the impact of mechanical work definition on the invention so the pressure is acting on an area suppose if i see from the top there is some circular area of the piston so this is the area of the piston now there is a force which is equal to p gas minus p atmospheric into area is the net force acting on this one and the piston is now uh, moving and this could be a function of s because p gas will vary according to uh, some relation with the piston displacement or a volume change so at the end of the day you see this one f is equal to some net p into a i am saying the p net net now you see this one in the case of a piston cylinder the volume is nothing but area of the piston multiplied by displacement x now the p net into area is same force where the mechanical uh, force is coming so that is how all the engineering devices which could produce a power starting from thomas avery newcomen uh, james watt and by, by at the beginning of the 20th century the industry is fully occupied by these massive machines and these machines are very very big okay suppose just to give a comparison uh, if i need a power to support our iit uh, an engine which can produce that one now will be at least a 30 meters tall engine all of you remember all of you recall in the movie titanic Uh, the directors try to show the engine how big is that engine to drive a small ship and with that no the development is impossible you cannot have a massive electricity generation by depending on this one and if you see what is the alternate solution which changed the entire society please change it and without a much technical proof without a huge uh, scientific uh, background the people started develop some kind of uh, rotating machines and these ones no always rotate and they they develop 
lot of uh, mobile power which are called the turbines okay the people developed the turbines with the many many resources you can use the wind you can use the water if not you generate steam and then use it or you directly burn the uh, entire thing in the uh, entire fuel in a, a compressed air and you have a, a gas turbine the so many things were being innovated but none of them show explicitly anywhere the force into displacement and it looks like these are all wonders gamble they are working we don't know how come they are doing a mechanical work but whatever they are doing is equivalent to what is the piston cylinder doing means there is an equivalence between so that's how thermodynamics wanted that instead of talking about a force into displacement as a work let us define that action which is mostly preferred by the world what is the whole world prefers which action the action which generates the motion it is the motion which changes my lifestyle all all of you imagine after all what is electricity if some of the electronics are continuously displaced through a conductor of conductor with a uh, voltage difference then there is a work that will generate the electricity that movement of electronics flowing through my laptop will do all the wonders that movement of electronics going through some other projector some other camera is doing a wonder it look like the motion has to be generated that motion need not be just a force into displacement explicitly so that's how the thermodynamic thought that the ambition of generating motion should be defined with a some obvious word so what is the easy way of displacing all of you know that so if i want to displace it is a big weight okay if i want to dis displace some weight okay i need to apply some muscle energy so lifting of a weight due to the gravity is the obviously a motion generating thing so all those actions which can perfectly replace the lifting of weight they are one and the same whether or not it will be a uh, displacement power or not okay so because of which all these uh, things sorry i'll show this one please all these inventions which looked like a gamble uh, became scientifically viable with the same volume like your mechanical work or so uh, they can produce 100 times more power the weight of this system will be same as that one so that's how thermodynamics wanted an action more preferred and more required for the developing world civilized world that is the motion that motion should be produced or can be produced by many other things which you don't look explicitly if you go deeper no you may see force displacement etc but people cannot uh, think that way it cannot be even modified just by thinking in terms of force into displacement that's how this particular definition uh, go back to the so uh, go back to the slides ah huh. this definition is most powerful way i could innovate many many things very easily the positive work is done by a system during a given process okay system should do a process system should change its states continuously then only there is a positive work but that positive work no should not be computed always is there a force is the force displacing if there is no force and uh, displacement explicitly i don't think it is a force will lead to non scientific invention of great machines okay you see this one the positive work is done by a system during a given process whatever it is doing no if that sole effect all that 100% equivalent to could be reduced to means it need not be a mechanical work whatever i am producing whatever sole effect i am getting if it can be replaced to raising of a weight equivalent to the raising of a weight that should be a work and how to and know the magnitude you develop a separate theory always you should not depend upon simple definitions like force into displacement only the definitions could be much more broader you may need a new theory to understand the magnitude or to calculate the magnitude but you should believe that all those things which can replace or which can do the job of 
a raise of a weight 100 percent should be treated as the work now then the people started thinking and there are so many ways the great faraday nobody could see but the faraday looked into what is the faraday if i want to make some electrons to flow through a conductor there is a force called electromotive force nobody can feel that force only faraday felt i i call that one no it's a faraday's force otherwise all the forces which we felt were mechanical in nature and no we could feel but the faraday's force cannot be felt the day he recognized then he generated new work what is the new work the electronics electrons doing work and will run everything or anything on the globe you imagine this thermodynamic definition is such a powerful thing need not be a force and displacement explicitly i am saying implicitly there could be or so so uh, i'll I, i'll go back to uh, i think now you have to go to that one that negative work definition yeah so that's where you see the entire thing suppose if i have a electric motor uh, driving a fan to cool your body i am taking a best example which all of you feel so now the thing whatever electricity is supplied to the motor is doing a work on the motor okay now what does it mean the electricity is doing a positive work and the motor is doing a negative work when i see the electricity as one because after all this is also there is a flow of electrons and there is a emf when there is a flow in a ems there is a displacement whether or not we feel and similarly the moment it works the motor is rotating and all of us know any rotational motion is equal to a, a translation r theta and now if i see the motor and the fan now you see the motor is doing a positive work on the fan the fan is doing a negative work on the motor and suppose if i go to the fan what is happening the fan is doing a positive work on the air that's why uh, without a fan there is no flow of air on my body i am sweating the moment i switch on the fan how come the air is getting so much energy somebody is doing a work on it that's how they flow fast my body and quench my body and i am happy now you see this one in a real world uh, force into displacement need not be a work the work happens as a see you see this extension of newton's third law the way newton said no for every action there is a reaction strictly speaking no every positive work will have an associated negative work if system does a positive work surroundings are doing negative work without surroundings doing a negative work system cannot do a positive work means without a surrounding system cannot do the work at all very important it is as powerful as newton's third law uh, unfortunately all the books do not define that is another reason now going ahead the superiority of uh, these definitions okay the day when the definition came you no know, people got a more broader picture as i said it, the first one which is obviously is a force into displacement so the displacement will come whenever there is something moving all of you know you take a balloon and blow the air the slowly the walls of the balloons are moving 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 that's why your entire lung should do some work when i blow blow why i get tired because my energy is consumed why my energy is consumed i am doing the work on the walls of the balloon to fetch it so you can have a many many works whether it is a steam engine where the piston displaced all these are moving boundary work is a straight forward mechanical work and in the thermodynamics we call it as a displacement work why there is an explicit change of a volume without that you can't feel the uh, force into displacement or a mechanical work so we call mechanical work is a, a displacement work the next important is electrical work as i said it no i get thrilled the whole world could see only one, one kind of forces and the great faraday saw only one force nobody could see till the faraday demonstrated nobody knew that you can generate mechanical power by some other means not only that they said that if you have a abundant amount of mechanical power and motion and you can do wonderful things by converting that into electrical work so if it is a mechanical work no at the most i can move i can pump i can uh, move a fan if it is 
the same mechanical work becomes electrical work i can run a computer or i can pump water and the generality of the work enhances so that's how no the definition of thermodynamics anything which is equivalent to raising of a weight effect all those should be considered as a work and you should not just depend upon force into displacement you know what is the most wonderful work than the electrical work which becomes the backbone of modern countries modern nations there is no nation on this globe which can run without this particular form of work which only a uh, visualized and formalized otherwise it was invented is what is called a shaft work how do you get a shaft work you imagine can there be any nation can there be any small town big town uh, which can live without a shaft work at all i i told you, you know that thomas avery said that it is foolish to uh, kill the people or tease the people to row your boat i can invent a wheel which will rotate and push the entire boat and he was kicked out of army because they thought it is stupid a small idea changes the entire world now the shaft work is the most popular but how do you create a shaft work there is a more fundamental which creates a shaft work straight forward those are the ones which we need to know very very important that is what is called a, a flowing fluid will do the work now you imagine uh, can you give me the i always wonder as a kid or when i was learning thermodynamics perhaps i was not uh, taught or i was not answered well that's why i decided to now you see I i'll have a big pole okay and i'll take a small shaft in a bearing and on which i'll just attach a 3 uh, or a 4 or a 2 or a 1 blade and there is a natural wind which is flowing through with some velocity uh, v infinity i am saying okay suppose if the entire thing matches uh, what we did it will do it can raise a weight isn't it all this effect now the question is where is the force here where is the displacement here which boundary is getting displaced continuously can i have a perfect relation what is called a uh, force into displacement if i work for a force into displacement to design this one even if i work 1000 years perhaps i cannot get how to design this particular windmill mean but whatever it produces is equivalent to f into s no doubt about it but this particular has to be this effect has to be calculated in a way uh, uh, truly so now as i was telling you all the nations on the globe backbone of every nation is a fluid flowing work driving a shaft and solving the problems whether or not you believe me that is the one which is the backbone very few are displacement work maybe automobiles even the whole world is thinking even this automobile will use later or sooner shaft work only okay so the power of uh, the entire world becomes upon this and thermodynamics definition no enhanced the possibility of satisfying the requirement of motive power otherwise what we were doing we were depend depending on only on the animals you take a cart otherwise what was our option next please so what was the our option you make a cart and uh, catch some horse or a sorry uh, assume this is a horse okay so some horse there is nothing else and this fellow will develop force into displacement okay now the question the way newton said no we are measuring the reaction and feeling that we are doing the work who is responsible for this force to be eliminated this fellow it has a muscles it eats it converts do you know how to develop will you be happy only by knowing the reaction and forgetting about the action what we need to know is how come this horse able to produce a force to beat the friction how come this horse generated a force to accelerate the entire car can i replace can i develop a more that is the power of uh, thermodynamic definition thermodynamic definition looks for the fundamental action rather than the final reaction which is showing you the mechanical work no actually defines the final reaction which is 
which can be easily felt if you depend upon that now you cannot invent any machine at all you can only use but what is required in this class is inventors and the thermodynamics is a science of invention it teaches how to scientifically invent everything you you recall my first day's lecture the law of invention which i was trying to tell go back to the lecture now let us go to the uh, some of the things okay the moving boundary or a displacement work so this is the one very easy to understand okay as i was explaining also if you have a gas somehow if i can increase the pressure of the gas how can i do the pressure the people thought it is very easy to uh, do it you you supply some heat automatically gas pressure will change because the pvt have a relation i showed you the material uh, behavior of any substance whenever i try to change any one property other properties will try to respond you cannot increase one property in isolation that is impossible okay so you keep other two properties volume and temperature constant only pressure will increase that is impossible okay of at the most you can keep the pressure constant volume temperature can be changed there is no rule that all the three should change if you wish you can have all the three changing also that is up to you you want to design uh, the method of motion generation okay the boundary work occurs when the change in system causes a force to act on the boundary now all of you can uh, just now explain can you go back go, go back go back i i showed you the force into displacement next 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 first first slide ah oh. now you can see this particular one this is what is called a displacement work and if you can support some amount of uh, resource which can continuously uh, give a capability to the gas to push the piston that's all and how the pressure changes with the displacement is an art and you can design you can prefer i want pressure and uh, pressure should change like this okay so go back to the slide now you can see this one so always know you can dictate this is very very important to dictate so whenever there is a piston movement how the pressure changes should i depend upon the mercy of something or do i have a control over the shape of this one all of you know if you recall your fundamental mathematics you always study a mathematics why why were you all taught such a simple ma mathematics if y is equal to f of x okay now you will try to draw y function of x now why this can be like this or this can be a straight line this can be a positive or a negative slope or this can be any arbitrary way also so you have learned different relations y is equal to f of x and did your teacher stop it there itself then you started doing an integration whenever there is an integration you were wondering what is the area under this curve okay how this area under the curve will change between the same points you see the initial point and final point is same if the shape of the curve changes the integral area is changing so we always wondered y dx the magnitude of this one between the same x1 to same x2 okay why this mathematics was taught because later or sooner you will develop a path and what is that path it is what is the y pressure perhaps what is the x volume according to the simple displacement work the pressure is y and uh, x is volume it looks like unless piston moves there cannot be a uh, work at all that's how no uh, if you recall your uh, 12th class definition work is set to be done if and only if force moves okay now you, you see show me show my picture hope this will not move show me okay 
okay now let us say i have hands i am applying the force on, sorry this is moving okay if i push this one push this one any amount of force i apply if this table doesn't move i cannot call that i have done a work so a conventional mechanical engineering definition is so much attached to our observation that movement it is the movement which makes the force to do the work so that's how the primary uh, function or a independent variable which drives the entire work in a mechanical is displacement unless there is a displacement there can't be a force doing anything that's how the change in volume will give a capacity for the pressure to do the work a displacement will give the capability for the entire uh, force to do the work just applying a force see this entire table is standing on the ground there is a force uh, acting on the ground will is this doing the work so creation of the force is not the one which is doing the work but who is doing the work the same force if it is motivated by a displacement so that's how no the conventional mechanical work is motivated by the fact that if there is a displacement then there is a work so that's how the fundamental definition of displacement work emerges from the understanding of this particular one go to the same slide slide so emerges from the same definition of this particular one now you can see as i was showing you know, the same thing so i want to control why i want to control suppose i'll be very happy if i get a path like c why area under the curve is very high why should i go unnecessarily for a or a b when it is possible to get a c from this one which gives me maximum benefit that is good isn't it okay so suppose if there is a choice to drive a cart should i go only for bullock always if if i get a horse cheaply readily i may go for horse why perhaps that gives me the better way what is the insight in the horse why it is doing better than a bullock or a camel or a buffalo that is interesting if i can understand that one i'll try to design every artificial animal to follow the c not just a, a or a b because i'm not interested in that so that's how one need to understand and you need to understand the two fundamental things about the control mass if i have a control mass if it is uh, doing a constant volume process and if there is a control mass if it is doing a constant pressure process two extremes what is the two extremes of this one uh, can you give me this so when i depend upon the mechanical work or a displacement work no i said it thermodynamics i will treat mechanical work as a displacement work this displacement work now what does it mean so there should be a control mass in the control mass this control mass gets a capacity if and only if it can it can change the volume otherwise what will happen nothing is possible isn't it so what is the magnitude of that work is p into dv all of you are no no why i am writing dv the p into a into dx where the dx is the piston displacement this is the new position of the piston okay so the dx into area is a volume that's how instead of writing a force into displacement i am very happy to write it in the pressure into volume okay so that is a better way sometimes you now it is difficult to get the displacement correctly because area suppose if i am blowing a balloon can you get exactly what is the displacement if i am blowing a balloon then what is easy to possible the change in volume can be calculated so means Uh, that that is the biggest uh, point which i am trying to say if there is a person who is blowing sorry uh, blowing a balloon blowing a balloon and what is the action which will clearly give the thing the pdv so the reaction is so difficult to or so simplified so that's how the pdv gives the origination of origin for doing the work using a, a mechanical work alone okay so the moment I, this is the one now you imagine suppose if i have a control mass if i lock the piston 
what will happen it cannot displace so there may be a pressure acting on acting on any amount of this one so that's how a constant this is all control mass because nothing is entering nothing is leaving so easy to define what is the force what is the pressure what is the volume if it is a continuous inflow and outflow it requires a much more uh, broader version of understanding that is the reason now if i see the delta w the pressure into volume now you see this one even if the pressure increases 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 because there is no change in the volume so there is nothing happening here so that's how uh, the limit of co uh, control mass displacement work is the pressure increasing not at all volume changing is a zero work output that is the limit it cannot do any work now on the other hand what is the other extreme the other extreme is you see the this particular one the same piston cylinder and the piston is moving okay and the pressure is acting on this and what is the magnitude of the work delta w is equal to p dv what is the other extreme or the other simplified this one the p independent of volume or constant now what will happen delta w is equal to the p dv p is a constant so whenever i want to integrate this particular one integral delta w the p dv so then what will happen the 1 2 2 the pressure into v2 minus v1 so there are two simplest and extreme cases the first extreme case is the volume not changing but pressure changing but it is useless for me because mechanical work doesn't respect unless there is a displacement the second one is the other simplified the force is not at all changing only there is a displacement but is that the maximum now the question is what is what should be preferred because these are the two things i can imagine easily isn't it the pressure changing but volume remains constant volume changing pressure remaining constant is the one which is easy to select i don't have to think a lot but what should i prefer should i prefer any one of them or should i prefer something different from these two if i want to prefer something different from these two i'll have to think very carefully see how to think more uh, critically whenever you are visualizing the uh, mechanical power uh, or a displacement work is the subject of selection of path the value of this integral depends upon the path followed why because you can make p independent or p dependent the moment p is a dependent on a volume the dependency can vary the way as i said it now y is equal to fx it could be a, a straight line it could be a parabola it could be a cubic curve or any other order curve or any sinusoidal cosine or any relation the moment the function changes area under the curve changes so there is a possibility if the p becomes so strongly depend upon the volume then i have a many creative ideas possible these are the two limits which they, where there is no creativity if the volume doesn't change whatever happens to the pressure nonsense why should i worry if the pressure is not changing if the volume is changing there is only one possibility there is nothing to think about it at all and should i prefer or not i don't know so that's how you need to have a generalized relation between the pressure and volume and try to think about selection of a path or that relation that is what uh, more important in a thermodynamic work we have to go to the slide next so the next important point is because why i am taking pressure volume temperature all of you should appreciate so far we have identified three important properties of any material whenever there is an action these properties are changing so one is volume the other is pressure the third is temperature okay so any any one can be to uh, talked about the next important is the isothermal process now the question is if i try to have an isothermal process paper theek hai na kuch papers acha niche ha ha okay okay thank you 
so if i am trying to think about iso dermal process okay so you see we have learned about three independent properties pvt we have understood what is the implication of keeping pressure constant what is the implication of keeping the volume constant the third is what is the implication of keeping the temperature constant what will be the relation between the pressure and volume when i keep the temperature constant and will the shape of the curve p versus v when i want to have the temperature how the shape looks like so this is difficult to think suppose if i use an ideal gas all of you know pv is equal to m r t because it is a control mass mass is constant the gas constant will be anyhow constant because an isothermal i am keeping this constant so the p into v constant what is the kind of uh, geometrically what is this relation called hyperbola so the relation will be something like a hyperbola now the question i want to say is will this be better than this now you see i am trying to see three different things one is this one this is ridiculous for doing a work the second one is easy to think about it constant pressure the other is constant temperature but this relation shape depends upon the substance behavior suppose if it is ideal gas i can get a easily easily pv is equal to constant if it is not ideal if it is a liquid or if it is some other vapor i don't know i have to understand very carefully how the pv curve looks like so if i can do isothermal what are the benefits okay so one should think about all the possibilities of setting up a path to achieve the required uh, motion motive power and <coughs> sorry sorry no Uh, let, let us not think the entropy now let me define the entropy and get into you uh, because whatever student getting you know that should, that is important what will happen to the entropy when there is a constant volume process okay so if the volume decreases uh, entropy will change decrease if the volume increases entropy of system increases and uh, the entropy of system or a surrounding is the one which has to be thought more globally what i request you to is don't ask a question on entropy now because the boys may get confused i haven't formally introduced the entropy okay we are only talking about achieving our objective what is our objective the every company industry requires a power we are concentrating on the power let us talk about the power now what will happen to the entropy volume decrease volume increase all this can be thought about okay so constant volume doesn't mean that entropy should remain constant if you are interested in that point only if there is a constant volume process entropy will change that depends upon the what is happening it to the pressure and vol pressure and temperature okay so let us not ask the constant entropy change now he is again and again asking entropy why can you open that column if you are hmm what is the relation between in okay wait for tomorrow next class i'll introduce the first law then you will ask these questions it is very very important that well before the first law people started using the work without knowing how much they are paying they started enjoying the outcome and it is not at all correct to think about the energy without thinking about what are you doing thermodynamics for very very important without understanding the work completely asking for energy is only just taking the background knowledge not for the engineering so wait for one more class i'll discuss completely the first law that time you can shoot up the energy versus work okay done done yeah so now 
suppose if it is a real gas as i said you know there is a van der waal equation of state you see this particular one suppose if it is a id gas pv is equal to rt the path is a simple curve simple parabola uh, sorry hyperbola suppose if the gas is not ideal and if it follows some kind of real gas nature one separated equation is van der waal equation now if i try to see what is the relation between the pressure and volume what is the shape of that curve okay can you please give me the pen here on this okay so now pen now if i want to as per the equation if i want to draw sorry okay so you can uh, draw a curve to represent the this one this will not be a simple hyperbola or a rectangular hyperbola a different what is the interesting point is whenever i prefer a isothermal process the relation between the pressure and volume is decided by the substance and nature of the substance very interesting so if i want if i do isothermal process with an ideal gas like air if i do isothermal process with a steam which is a real gas I, i'll get a different paths now i need to understand what is good to do isothermal work is it should i prefer a always ideal gas or should i prefer always a, a steam i'm not just uh, saying for the sake of discussion when the people were developing the engines and turbines etc there was a big discussion is it required to produce a steam always why don't you burn some fuel into the air and same gas why don't you use it at all even now aircraft is driven by a gas turbine where the working fluid is like a ideal gas and most of the electricity generated in a nation is by steam turbine which is a non ideal gas so the moment i think about the isothermal the first time the substance plays a vital role selection of substance becomes a very important okay and the third option is not by this okay you see this particular one the p the a and b are constants they don't change now you can see the relation a and b are constant for a given gas the r is also gas constant and i want to keep the temperature same then what is the relation between the p and v not only that there are many many models available so, uh so many models available for a real gas so what is important is some gases may follow closely this equation some uh, some gases may be close to this equation this this there are many many equations each one of them is suitable for some set of uh, vapors or gases depending on their nature now all of them when they are doing an isothermal process the shape of pv curve will change means the amount of work you will get will change and it is very very important that whenever i am selecting a substance and a process now it becomes more and more important what people thought that can i come up with a shape of pv curve should i work on the shape of the pv curve first afterwards i'll select whether it should be isothermal or a constant volume or something something or whether i should take a air or i should take a steam or i should take some other working fluid how to do that one means first i want to think in isolation what should be the shape of the curve that's all once i am happy with the shape of the curve then i'll do the research which substance will give me this kind of shape and what should be the what should be constant to keep that one okay which led to very interesting in fact no thermodynamics only can do that kind of wild thinking for the sake of better products okay this is the one i am looking for some shape on a pv curve somehow i am happy with this shape i want this uh, shape to occur now i'll search what should be the working substance if i select the working substance to get this curve should i keep the temperature constant or something else constant this is obviously not a pressure constant looks like and volume is not constant at all in any case so this is where the curiosity of generating more area under the curve by playing with the different substances or a different shapes created very interesting relation okay 
like should i depend upon a generalized process and which can be controlled easily afterwards i'll select substance afterwards i'll see what is remaining constant i don't care about to start with what is such a thing uh, which is such a generalized process can i say p is directly proportional linear curve should i say and will it be good or should i look for uh, a parabolic curve pv if i am interested in the parabola then look for the substance or should i look for anything else but the people found later also no by experience you will find people say that no 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 these are not the shape what is the best way of optimizing the path at the same time which will help in selecting a substance or anything is called a polytropic so that's how the thermodynamics you know the classically introduced a generalized invention of a path this particular path you no know, depending on the value of n how the value of n depends upon i can manipulate the uh, something constant something not constant or i can change the substance instead of steam i can use a gas instead of gas i can use a helium instead of helium i can use uh, something else then i get, can manipulate and what should be the objective i should get a maximum returns i should get a maximum area under the curve that is the objective of the first level of thermodynamic invention which is happening so that's how the polytropic process became one of the uh, what i say land landmark for uh, um, good word is uh, benchmark process every process i want to try to have something like a pv to the power of something i'll optimize that value n for a given purpose then i look for substance which is substance will satisfy if there is a substance which is satisfying what is actually remaining constant is there anything remaining constant out of pressure volume temperature or nothing i don't care or not the pressure not the volume not the temperature there is something else which remains constant which is to be identified the way many of the teachers asking you no know, entropy 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 this entropy came the first time because of this curiosity not because of anything in the thermodynamics the people wanted to manipulate the n one n gave a beautiful uh, out, outcome and then they want to know what remains constant when it is that so, so the curiosity of invention obviously happens in thermodynamics because thermodynamics is a subject of invention so you will not learn anything without an objective of invention that is only the uh, greatness of the thermodynamics give me a, a white board okay so let me close the discussion on the displacement work and i i request all the teacher to solve more examples to explain uh, various uh, shapes etc very important so now i am doing number 1 uh, displacement work okay so the second one is a very generalized one which i am naming as a polytropic i wish to say polytropic shape of pv curve which is obviously people say uh, process i don't want to use the word process now i'm i'm giving a shape to the pv curve like a polytropic what is that relation called uh, p into v to the power of n is equal to constant i'm preferring this kind of thing then i cannot draw this one because without knowing the value of n if i draw something arbitrary so that's why i am draw, not drawing now what is the definition of displacement work the p dv now the p is a function of so p is a function of v i can replace the p in terms of this because i know i have defined i can play with the c and n i have two variables and how do i play with them different substances or uh, you just play whichever is good and try to look for the thing which substance can do if this is happening what should be constant nothing should be constant then okay i don't mind okay if my objective is uh, satisfied why should i know anything remaining constant or not that is not the objective of uh, creation okay so if i know a pdv now what is this relation becomes w okay so c into dv by v to the power of n 
Now see the beauty of this particular one. This particular integral independent of substance nature. I'll select the substance later. I don't have to worry. You see, I want to integrate the isothermal curve. Without knowing the substance, I could not integrate. Why? PV relation changes with the nature of the substance. I cannot say just PV is equal to RT. That is only true for ideal gas. I cannot use the Van der Waal equation. Even that is valid for some class of vapors. And if it is a very, very complex, I cannot get an analytical solution. Now, all that complexities, see the innovation, the creativity. Now, I can integrate this one. And all of you know, this particular one will give the relation C by minus N plus 1 into 1 by V to the power of 1 minus N from the 1 to 2. Am I correct? Okay. So, you will get a generalized equation. If you simplify, okay, because now this is a path dependent, you need to write 1 to 2. You need to know what path is defined for a 1 to 2. Otherwise, you cannot get this integral. And the shape is very, very important to get the quantity. That's why whenever the integral is a path dependent, it should be shown like this. You cannot write a W1 minus W2 like P2 minus P2 because it's a highly path dependent. So one need to calculate. And you can look for what C and what N is the best. So that's how the polytropic nature, no? And it created a big consciousness. And later I'll say this n equal to one of the most interesting number. And this number is not an integer. It is not a simple, but this number is something peculiar. If it is an ideal gas or that to air, n should be equal to. You see this one. When I am searching for this one, okay. Suppose if I am using a helium as a substance, which is uh, uh, inert gas. I'll be very ha there is something interesting when n is equal to 1.67. Why that is an interesting thing happening? And suppose if I'm using a air, when n is equal to nearly 1.414, strictly speaking, there is something interesting happening. If I'm using uh, something like a H2O, when n is nearly 1.32 or so, there is something interesting happening. Now everybody started thinking, you see this one, think in a general perspective, leads to the innovation. A particular value of N to a particular substance created a, a big, big change. All, of, all the teachers, you know, what is the meaning of this one? This N value created some unknown property remaining constant. And which, you know, ordinary people cannot think about it. And not only that, that it was first time given a numerical value. If you wish, perhaps according to me, the best way, easiest way of in introducing the entropy is, you are trying to develop a, a polytropic process and you are looking for n value. And whenever I took a substance, one n, for a helium, n is equal to 1.67 is leading to one property constant. For a air, when n is equal to 1.414, the same which is constant for helium is also remaining constant and created a consciousness and an entropy perhaps should have been derived this way. Unfortunately, uh, historically entropy was not derived this way. Uh, I don't know whether I can take this freedom of introducing the entropy now uh, with the view of this, but later I'll introduce in next class, but well before that particular one easily. All of you know what I mean by this particular N. What is that called? Gamma. What is this gamma? The gamma is a ratio of uh, specific heat at a constant pressure by specific heat at a constant volume. This is the goal of uh, tomorrow's or next day's lecture. And afterwards, this entire understanding should lead to, I'm only refreshing the foundation. My only goal is uh, the powerful definition of thermodynamic work led to superb invention of a work mode. Uh, ordinary person, ordinary thinking cannot lead to and uh, develop superb definition. I, I wonder, no book defines that work explicitly. That is not fair at all. When the whole world is enjoying the 
uh, work due to that particular one not introducing at a first level is a crime so next class i'll introduce the most powerful means of generating the which doesn't look like a force into displacement which is not at all a displacement work but whatever displacement work can do no this will do perhaps much better much huge magnitude and very economically so let us look for two important things in next class the n becoming gamma the wonders and the next one is another mode of invention any more question Which one I answer? Uh, so now the which process is better, constant volume or a constant pressure? You should uh, see if your motive is for work transfer, constant volume gives you nothing, isn't it? Especially when you are depending on the displacement work. Okay. So out of the constant volume, it should be a constant pressure which is better if you are looking for a work transfer. but tomorrow i'll talk about another action that time i may change my opinion this better know whenever you want to say which is better you should know what is the objective for classifying the better if the objective is to get the work constant volume doesn't do work at all in displacement pdv dv is zero why should i prefer that at all unless i am making a bomb i told you no this bomb should not uh, do expand at all with time it should be hard when i use it then only it should explode perhaps constant volume is better whatever happen inside it should be constant volume because i don't want work to happen now because i'm transporting the grenades i'm storing the grenades i cannot control the temperature where the grenades are put together inside anything can happen but volume should not change in that case perhaps constant volume is better okay so objective is very important either gas equation or other state of equation only powers of volume is there why not powers of pressure in the gas equation ha uh ha -huh. actually no uh, this is a very beautiful question one one teacher asks i am reading that one why mostly any equation written as a p into volume to the power of power only why the, why don't they write volume into pressure to the power of something because this is all dominated and corrupted by the mechanical work most of the people only think that it is the mechanical work which is a work so mechanical work means there should be a displacement what is the meaning of displacement volume changing is essential who is the hero volume that's how most of the conventional thinking only use the pv to the power of n is equal to constant strictly speaking mathematically if there is a pv to the power of n is equal to constant i can use a p by p to the power of 1 by n into v constant that 1 by n can be m i can always write why they are not writing but uh, total object you know initiated by that one the reason in fact now i will i would love to write every pv to the power of n is equal to constant as p to the power of m into v constant also for me uh, whether you write a polytropic process pv to the hmm, sorry so uh, whether you write polytropic process pv to the power of n is equal to constant or you write p to the power of m into v is equal to c1 or c2 doesn't matter for me it doesn't matter at all why this is motivated because entire work definition no started with the mechanical work that is the reason why people follow this one why should i follow i i many times i'll write p to the power of m into v is equal to c2 is also polytropic why perhaps next class i am trying to teach you a more powerful way of doing the work with the second relation i explained to you very clearly that the quasi static process means any process for which i can get a relation between p and v suppose you you suddenly do one thing something and you blow a balloon okay and just collapse it rupture it i don't know what happened between the initial and final and because of which i am not getting any benefit at all now you blow a balloon and with a small hole you open it the entire balloon moves through air it follows a path why because i controlled the pv relation from the in, in, initial to the final so whenever i am able to define the pv relation means i am doing a quasi static process 
okay that is the meaning of quasi static the goal goal of why thermodynamic is introduced with this word i am not teaching the regular things means so the moment unless you believe in the quasi static no you don't know how to uh, explicit relation between p and v how to control the shape of pv curve all will come only when you believe that i want to know every intermediate step between the initial and final so the same thing i am teaching as an engineering way as an engineer i want to know the path unless i know how uh, how can i control if i want to control the shape i can control the shape only when i know the path how can i know the path if i know every state in between the initial and final then only i'll know the shape and knowing everything is called a quasi static process yeah no uh, this i'll discuss after energy fluid flow energy and kinetic energy i'll dis uh, discuss once i introduce the first law not now yeah please work and energy you postpone the question for a while okay so don't ask me now then you will confuse your student very important okay the people started doing the work somehow without knowing what they are spending i told you the carno asked the people who developed millions and millions of engines with their hands if i have a 1 kg of coal how much work i am supposed to get nobody knows they were getting a work so that's how keep the suspense what you pay for the work is later that is the first law of thermodynamics uh, control the economy to start with okay thank you thank you very much